everyone, Gunnarola here. Last month, I geared up for a weekend at the annual Honda Indy in Toronto, and now I'm sharing all of the action with you. It's my first time at the race, and I'm so excited to learn more about the world of Indy car racing. I'll be giving you the full experience as we explore all the different things that there are to see and do, and we'll even have the chance to hit the track ourselves. First up, an interview with the only Canadian in the competition this year, James Hinchcliffe. Car number five. All right, so I'm here with James Hinchcliffe, master racer, entrepreneur, Canadian celebrity, social media star. Is there anything you can't do? Go on. I mean, you're, <laughs> you're halfway there. What else you got? In his spare time, you might not know this, he's the mayor of Hinchtown. Was it a democratic process? Did the people elect you? So, here, let me give you a tip about politics, right? If you ever want to get into politics, the best way to do it is to create your own town name it after yourself, and then no one bothers running against you because they assume you're going to win anyway. So, racing. How does one get into racing? Because I like driving fast, but I don't think I could ever do what you do. Well, you get into it by being born in Ontario and being way too small to play hockey. Okay, I got two of those. Right, exactly. So, so yeah, you got to you gotta find a way to meet girls because they all like the athletes, right? And I couldn't play hockey, so I figured, you know, chicks took a guy in uniform. It's a very beautiful uniform. I have the distinct pleasure of getting to essentially wear pajamas to work, which is pretty awesome. How does it feel to be back in Toronto? It's, it's awesome. I love coming home. I, uh, I miss it more and more every time I come back. You've got your family here too? Yeah, I mean, fan club members 001 and 2 are mom and dad. My sister and brother and everybody's here, friends and family and girlfriend, everybody. It's been, uh, it's been a pretty cool weekend so far. And if you weren't doing this, what do you think you'd be doing? I mean, delivering pizzas really fast. Can you take us through your trailer? We're, we can do like a like a an MTV Cribs. Sure, place. let's do. I love that. We're backstage at the Honda Indy. We're about to check out James Hinchcliffe's trailer. Oh, hey! Oh, hey guys! Didn't expect you. Why, why don't you come in? Let me show you my crib. All right, so this is it. This is our uh, 53 foot hauler. We bring this around the country to everywhere we go. It carries my baby, my race car. That's right upstairs. You know, every episode of Cribs, they take you into the kitchen. This is our kitchen. We got chocolate, we got some soy sauce, Parmesan cheese, that goes well on everything, you know? Spare parts, tools. Obviously, this is my helmet, some of my gear. Uh, this is my locker. A lot of Febreze, because we all stink. And then uh, if you got some bad breath, you can look and feel Canadian instantly. This is the gearbox department, and that's it. I mean, you've now seen uh, top to bottom, bow to stern of an IndyCar trailer. This is how we do it. It's that baby oil. You don't want to know. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time to talk to us, Hinch. Now it's time to take a trip outside the paddock where Honda has set up a number of different things to check out and something that I've always wanted to try. All right, we found an activity that everyone can enjoy. Although the Junior Red Riders program is designed for children aged 6 to 12, I was lucky enough that they made an exception for me, a senior Junior Red Rider who's never been on a motorcycle before. I'm not scared at all. Do you think we're gonna go fast today? Oh my god! <laughs> so, as you can see, I didn't have too much luck on the bike. But given that we are at the Honda Indy, I think it's time to trade in my two wheels for a two-seater. Finally, us normal people will have the chance to know what it's like to ride in an Indy car, and what it's like to be mistaken for a famous driver. We'll be traveling at speeds of up to 180 miles per hour, that's 290 kilometers per hour. Needless to say, do not try this at home.
So I just sat in one of those indie cars. We went around the track. Pretty sure I transcended time. Uh, I started seeing different colors. I saw space. I felt alive. Everyone better do it. It takes a lot of skill and practice to drive in this race, but it also takes an equally skilled team. From operations and timing to the pit crew, who I've got to say operate faster than you can blink, each person is an expert at their role. To make it through 85 laps, it really does take teamwork to make the dream work. Like a well-oiled machine. Literally. We're at the last day of the Honda Indy. We're going to drive in our parade lap. It's going to be a lot of fun. You want to hop in? Got room in the back. No? You sure? We're doing the parade lap at the Honda Indy. I'm here with Scott Dixon. I don't think I'm allowed to talk and drive, so I'm going to focus on driving. All right, so that's it for our parade lap here at the Honda Indy. It's time to watch the race. Here we are, our top three finishers in this year's Honda Indy Toronto James James Hinchcliffe started the race in sixth place, but ended up in third, his best finish ever in Toronto, and the first time a Canadian has landed on the Toronto podium since 2006. All right, had an incredible weekend here at the Honda Indy. Congrats to Hinch. Stay tuned for our next adventure. I'll see you next time out.